hello fams you welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by i hope all you guys are doing good for me i'm doing fine so today i'm back with another cooking video it's been a long time i made this kind of video but because there is a request anytime i cook this soup people will be asking me how did you cook how did this start so i want to show them how i cook my bitali soup this is akaganoko one <laughs> and this is one of the the soup i use to get my husband anytime i want to get something from him i will make the soup in fact anything i'm saying this is my juju <laughs> so please i want you to join me make this juju make this soup for any anabra man <laughs> he will not stop loving you he will not stop giving you whatever you ask from him okay so let's go and do this soup if you really want to know how i make it let's dive in okay <laughs> So this is the the stockfish and the cow leg. I make this. I started cooking this uh, separately because this is harder ones. Okay, so I divided it. I have my other other meats, but I made this one with pressure pot. So now I transfer it to this bigger pot because the soup I want to cook will not contain small pots. So this is the another part of the meat. I'm cooking it separately. You can see it's hard chicken and the goat meat. So I want to transfer all of them together now so that the cooking will start. The cooking will commence. <laughs> oh God. So this meat I use here is a hard chicken, the normal red meat the goat meat and the cow leg that was the thing i'm using now as meat then i use the stockfish so i'm trying to transfer the meat so that i will make all of them and i want to say something i've already seasoned the meat i've put everything i needed in this meat and not much because onubu soup bitterly soup doesn't need too much spices okay so i use pepper and the stock cube and the salt that was the only thing i use here the pepper i use fresh pepper if you have your dry pepper you can use it okay i use fresh pepper salt and the stock cube so it depending on the quantity of the soup you're making that depends on the ingredients you're using for seasoning of your meat so as you can see now i've transferred it into the bigger pot and allow it to cook for some time so that everything will come together so now i'm about to start making the other process please stay by so that you can get this step by step it's very easy once your meat is done the food the soup is done okay so I'm using this thickener. This is uh, an oat meal. Oat. I grinded it. Then I use water to melt it. Okay. So since I found this method, I'm not using any other method. I'm using oat meal. Seeing that oat also is healthy. So I don't bother myself with cocoa yam. But the way we use it, do it in Nigeria is cocoa yam. So you can see as it's thickening very thick yeah it's very thick so you put the oatmeal depending on the quantity of your food so um this is oil you also add the oil according to your choice there are some people that doesn't like too much oil there are some people that love oil you can also use banga to make the soup but this is how i want to make it now okay So I'm turning it to see if I need more oil because when you put your bitter leaf, it will be darkened. So I don't want it to be so dark, okay? So I added another spoon so that the soup will be bright. <laughs> this is it. So I'm trying to check if everything is okay. So now I will cover it 
for five minutes so that the oil will boil okay we cook so this is this is the men the men the men man of occasion <laughs> this is fresh bitter leaf it's not dry one it's fresh bitter leaf we are having it here in italy yeah fresh bitter leaf so i was the one that washed it by myself <laughs> so this is it now to introduce our bitter leaf guys there is something i want to say here some people used to cut their bitter leaf but i want to cook it the way my grandmother used to cook it then yeah don't used to cut it you know this onubu is when when you're eating you are drawing the, the leaf you know that you're eating a bitter leaf soup <laughs> so this is it i've introduced it now then i'm trying to turn it to get everything mixed together guys at this point you can see that the soup is taking shape <laughs> yeah it's making sense but there is still time okay we'll still cook it so that our bitter leaf will done so i'm trying to to get it together mm, i know by now you are salivating please hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> so I've already missed them now. Then another thing is crayfish. This is crayfish. Guys, I don't need I don't need to put more maggi or uh, stockfish. All these things I've introduced here, all of them had their test. So the one I use is, is okay. The one I use for seasoning the meat. So it's okay. And even the salt is okay. You know oh, this bitter leaf is bitter so you have to be mindful of the salt you're adding aha uh -huh, this is so gilibo without this your nubu soup will not be complete though <laughs> i don't know for you but in Igbo lad without this one hmm, your nubu soup your bitter leaf soup is not complete so i am producing this one this one is our native maggi yeah if you add it, you don't need another. Those days, they don't use stock cube. They use this one only. And the food, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. So, guys, in at this junction, you can see that the soup is taking shape. Hmm. This is the Onubu soup of Wanyo Gidi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so... As we are waiting, wow, this is another ingredient that I want to add. This is my smoked mackerel fish. Yeah, smoked mackerel fish. I also have melusa smoke, all of them. I didn't fry it. It was smoked. So, guys, as we don't have a dry fish now, this one serves us. And it tastes so sweet. <laughs> Try this type of onubu soup for your anambara man <laughs> he will not love you less so mm. uh, people will say that you do juju for them for him for him so this is it the food the soup is taking shape guys the soup is taking shape i feel like oh preparing my pounded yam oh god mm. People that are doing weight loss, wait, let us finish this food after we continue. Okay, I'm calling all you guys to come and join me. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic, are you there? Oh, come. Would you? Biko, come. Angela, only one them. Chikri, Singwa, let's go. Let's eat. Let's eat together. Mama Flossy, please cook this one for my brother. Okay. <laughs> hey cook this time for my brother i will tell you i'm telling you you will say this woman where are you where did you let this one so guys as you can see the food is taking shape at this time you have to take it easy because of the fish so that you not scatter the fish so you take it easy as you're turning it i'm trying to you know make everything join together so you at this point if you want it more watery you can add more water but for me it's okay like this okay it it is okay like this so guys i think 
everything is about to go down. <laughs> it's about to go down. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> So this is it. If you have not subscribed and you're watching, try to subscribe. Happy weekend to you all. God bless you. Till I see you next time in my next video, remain blessed. Try to make peace with people, okay? Never you relent in being good. Let nobody change you. Continue to be a good person who you are. Okay, as you can see, my plate is set. Let me go and handle my fufu, gather it and eat. Okay, bye.